help the ravers start a nightclub. What's the status of the church? I haven't gotten inside the building yet. I asked Lloyd to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. A padlock is a temporary fix, just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. Hang on. How long have those people been locked in there? They locked them in? I thought they were locking them out. What about the key? Of course. Lloyd, give the officer the key. All right. The speed freak dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key. He then makes a sudden cool infused move, tossing it in your general direction. Reaction speed uh, medium 10. Be the cool cop. Catch the key as it flies towards you. Let it fall to the ground, then pick it up like a normal adult person. So we already did one of these with the novelty dice maker and it was you need to catch the dice in midair because otherwise it just is lost and if you fail the check it gets lost anyway so with this you you just need to pass the check so it's 72 percent i want to make that a little bit higher so let's go ahead this so we put one there and let's do another one I've got the two skill points, so why not? There we go. 92%. That's a lot more comfortable for me. So, uh, yes, I've got no more skill points. I've got 67 XP. Be the cool cop. You sense the trajectory of the little piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small ringing sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to the left. Catch it. ka -ching. The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. Bask in the glory. Thanks, man. Play it cool. No, bask in the glory. I put in two skill points to do that. I'm going to milk it for its what it's worth. The young man with ribcage-shaped suspenders looks at you, standing there, with a goofy grin on your face. Something to say, Noid? The word august, used as an adjective. That's how cool it feels to be old and cool in the eyes of the young. Let's face it. You're near death, yet bathed in the golden rays of stately grandeur. Like a late summer's day. Like a daddy-o. Like a daddy-o. And yes, thank you for the follow, uh, Raja Perkele. One of us. One of us. Okay. And yes, just that was just a heal the morale thing. It wasn't a uh, actually do anything interesting as part of that. Um, but... Yeah, so I guess healing morale stuff is only when you have conceptual stuff, uh, whereas healing health and endurance stuff is physical stuff. So hence, why eating a sandwich heals some um, it heals some health, which is what we did with Gaston sandwich. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've been here long enough to know this is quality content and something I definitely want more of. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, we do appreciate you uh, uh, following us. I, I guess it's because Disco Elysium is the type of game that I like to sort of experience and get the most out of, because a lot of people will play this game and be like, I don't really care about the dialogue, I just want to get through the story. But I think it's interesting to go through all of the different side things a bit. Like this one. How long have those people been locked in there? Not long. Like a week, maybe? A week? How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? This is cool. Take initiative like this is proper citizen behavior and I endorse it. How can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least 90%. Maybe 85% sure they're still alive. A 15% chance of death is way higher than what people would risk. Somewhere in the ruinous past that led you here. There was something called exams. You may have learned the term involuntary manslaughter there. Andre, do you know what involuntary manslaughter means? 85% is not good enough when you're dealing with another person's physical well-being. 85% is good enough, no one lives forever, baby. Andre, do you know what involuntary manslaughter means? Yes, I do. I listen to Channel 8 all the time. I know about crime stuff, and I assure you, officer, this is not what's happening here. I'm at least 80% sure they're alive. I mean, come on. Most people aren't ever that alive in their entire lives. They are Schrodinger's narcomaniacs. They are both dead and alive until I open the door. 
What does that mean? I catch a drift sounds like nonsense. What does that even mean? I don't know. What does anything mean, really? He's lost his train of thought. Oh, yeah. He looks at his friend with an expression of profound understanding. It sounds like nonsense. You're right. It is nonsense. Total garbage. I knew you'd see through it. You're one smart cop. It feels good to be the smart cop, doesn't it? That's a good cop to be. Has a nice ring to it. Smart cop. You wouldn't want to be stupid cop, now would you? But still, maybe he's just sucking up to you. Yeah, 80%. The percentage just keeps dropping and dropping until... Yeah, I think they're... I'm pretty sure they're dead. You can stop buttering me up now, thank you. I get by. Now, where was I with that padlock? Where was I with that padlock? He nods attentively, ready to answer the questions of one smart cop. Right, other questions. Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Who exactly are the people inside the church? Truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. You haven't even seen them and you want the police involved? Well, there's also the machinery. Machinery? When I first scouted the place, back in February, it was abandoned, empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. What feeling? Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. Where you haven't physically seen anyone. Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church a couple of times. And we felt someone or something eyeing us inside. But that's kind of it. Okay. It went from one week to two weeks? Or did they just chill with the strange people for a week before locking them in? Uh, yeah. I think it was... They came here two weeks ago to set the stuff up. They found machines, and then after a week after doing the machines, the narcomaniacs have moved in. So I don't think the people have been in locked in for a, a two weeks. What was that about something watching you? Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. Not human, as in a ghost. Do you know what he means? Uh, maybe my uh, psyche, my physical instrument will be able to... Maybe it's Shivers will tell me. Non-human means a predator. Mm. No, not necessarily. You wouldn't consider a plant to be a predator. It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. A crab man? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab. Well, crabs don't climb ceilings, and also crabs usually move from side to side. It was stalking a cell, exhibiting ambush behavior. Oh. Odd. Crabs are usually marine creatures, and not known for climbing walls. Are you sure there was a crab man, or ambush behavior? Nod. Crab man. Hmm. If it was two weeks, the place would definitely have some desiccated corpses in it. It sounds like it's got a monster in it. Are you sure it's a crab man? Yeah, totally. I mean, I didn't personally see it. A cell was alone that time. But I believe her. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. Okay. So he hasn't even been in there lately. Is he afraid? You should ask her about it. It'll be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in the crab. Sure, okay. Monsters and Revachol? Yeah, they wear human faces and human skin. You spent too much time around Lena. That's a good point, actually. If a cryptozoologist would, was in the area, they might be able to identify what it actually was. There probably is no crab man. Don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. Can you tell me more about this machinery? You should talk to Lloyd about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some stuff station too. Probably very likely. With a small surge of PEA, alertness fills you. As if to say, 
This is a dark corner. Look behind it. Jacked up to some snuff station. It means like one of those witch boy private radio stations where you can listen to people getting killed on and jerk off to it. Sick shit. This has already been mentioned with um, Kitsuragi. Well, not specifically Kitsuragi, but going through radios in the, the motor carriage or the, the abandoned truck. Uh, maybe they are looking for the crab man. Yeah, the, the cryptozoologists are... No, actually, no, they're not looking for the crab man. They were looking for the, the stick insect that looks like reeds. So that's completely separate, actually. Must be. Even Kuno knew that. Not that we would know anything about that. Noid just likes to relay stuff. Sure. He appears sincere enough, sire. You could, of course, be wrong. We're getting derailed here. In short, you can tell to Noid about the machines. He'll tell you more. So how can you be sure they're burnouts and dope heads if you haven't even seen them? Well, honestly, I can't. But I am. This is a below fetal attempt at avoidance. Basically, he is attempting to weaponize idiocy. Wow, you can't. But you should, uh, you do. I should add weaponized idiocy to my own repertoire. I don't see a single thing wrong with that argument. Right, if he's trying to be an idiot on purpose, then yes, we're gonna call it out. Hey now, I'm 70% sure they're substance abusers. It keeps dropping. Don't let all that technology fool you. Where do you think the drugs come from? Let's talk about something else. Sure. What? You mentioned some kind of ecclesiasts own the church. Who are they? Oh yeah, that's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Before we go on, what do you mean by meteorin? The founding party, I do know them, but can you refresh my memory? Mask it. Now humor me, Andre, what is the founding party? Don't mask it, I don't even know what the founding party is. This is clever, actually. It's... You don't know what the thing is, but you can phrase it as a question to them for them to help explain it to you. Before we go on, what do you mean by meteorin? You know, of meteo. Concerning meteo. Meteo? Meteo. A country. On Muindi. On the Muindi Isola. He squints at you to see if you're kidding. One of the poorest of the first world nations today. But once a great ancient civilization. Capital Tilakos by percentage. Now humor me, Andre. What is the founding party? That's not clever at all, everyone can see through that. It depends on who you're talking to, honestly. Like, if I go with this, he might, like, take it at face value. Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know? I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Pyrrhonesian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They like made the innocentic system no now andre in your opinion will this ancient religious organization who anoints the innocents want a dance club in one of their churches they sound exactly like the kind of people who would want loud dance music in their uh, churches uh right so let's have a look see sorry i just noticed something going off somewhere else ah <clears throat> def uh, andre is definitely not stupid he took the safe route well, we'll let's still go with this uh, this conversation. So, would this uh, organization want a dance club in their church? Totally. There isn't a trace of doubt in his voice. The Perikonasian church is about love. I know the music is about love. I got love for my Perikonasian posse. Love is the relay out of death. We dance. He violently shakes the tape players to, as if to see he can break it. Love is hardcore. Unity. Unity! Make some noise for my Insulindian posse! He then turns the volume up, then looks at you with a knowing nod as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. You feel it. The anodes and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the bass, as if testing the waters. No words, enjoy the beat. I don't understand what you're talking about, what's a posse? I guess love can be pretty hardcore. I now understand it was lame of me to suggest otherwise. Anodic music is about love and so is the Perikonasian church. Knows this is too much. No sane organization want this observed level of uh, uh, this level of absurdity in their church. I don't agree. What's a posse? 
Tell me what posse is. Your posse is like your people, man. Like you got your cut posse. You look out for each other and you party together. That's a posse. This would have been better if Kitsuragi was with us inside. And where is your posse, detective? Nothing comes to you. The world is silent. Sounds like you're saying random things love posse make noise. Ah, we'll just enjoy the beat. Feels good. You're saying random stuff. Are we? He looks at you mysteriously. Yeah! The one with a large head really enjoys it when his friend gets mysterious. I guess love can be pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, it can. He's coming around. You're getting it. <laughs> they, these guys are growing on me, actually. So yeah, I'm going to say, I understand it was lame to me of me to suggest otherwise. Anodic music is about love, and so is the Pericarnassian ship. Proceed. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand, approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, you got more questions? The one with I the large so. head is still looking at you, nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. I could get a choice. Hardcore! You feel like you could go for a little disco when or if they get this club going. You've got it in. I want to ask you about this tent full of equipment. Yes. What? I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When I first scattered the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. That's, again, not a very good sign for the people that are locked inside. Uh, it's distilled, too. Uh, oh. He doesn't know what to say. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. It's like he's lying to you, my liege. But he's slippery enough that there's nothing for you to grab hold of. Hate to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. He picks up a piece of telephone cord and inspects it. I also smell ether. Why? Ether? I don't smell ether. Do you, Noid? No. It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent like a laundry detergent. That was another thing. Laundry detergent? He sniffs the air, then shrugs. It doesn't take a forensic scientist to guess it's drug-related. They look and act like the kind of guys who've done their fair share. However, their breathing is regular, their jaws stay put, and their pupils aren't dilated. So, not under the influence right now. At least, not under the influence of stimulants. That doesn't rule out hallucinogens, benzos, some depressants. How do you know all this? What's with all the nosafed? The what now? Point to the bottles of nasal spray in the corner, the nose-fed ultra, you've got a lot of it lying around. Oh, the old ultra. We, uh... He's like an actor, looking to the souffle for his line. I have a major sinus infection, stuffy nose, we all do. Shit's all blasted up, winter, can't even breathe. You sound fine to me. Yes, that's all nose doing. Without the noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. No, Sifed is the shit. Uh, can I have some? I've got some nose problems too. Um, sure. Here you go, officer. The noser. Blast away. Thanks. Uh, all right, enough of this. He nods enthusiastically. No doubt, a little relieved. Okay, we have a logic check. Maybe everything isn't quite as you've been told. Take a moment to analyze. So there's an unexplained ether smell and no Sifed. But I'm convinced I'm a smart cop and narcomania is a plague. Though I shouldn't have done that before. Uh, so... Uh, that's a white check, isn't it? Yes, it's a white check. Alright. We can come back to this another time, I think. That's it for now. As always, we'll be right here. Waiting patiently for the news. Yeah! Oh, he's not saying we'll be here. Okay. Alright. So, it's a logic thing, isn't it? Uh, and Nosafed went up. Oh, oh Nosafed is a different thing. Right, okay. Uh, so, logic stuff. I don't think there's much logic. Yeah, I've got stuff that takes logic away. Uh, oh, no, there's, there's some glasses. So, one... Two... I can get two. 
Do I have a thought that's taking logic away? Motorway South? Uh, visual calculus. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, hard, uh, hardcore group, Siggy's for intellect as well. That's true. That's true, actually. Um, but yes, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up for today there. I've been streaming for, uh, close to three hours now. Not quite three hours, but we only tend to do, like, three-hour-ish streams, if that. Um, but yes, it is currently ten past eleven in the UK, uh, and we've got to get up early in the morning, so uh, we'll leave it there. So, thanks for watching the stream. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my foray into uh, Disco Elysium, uh, the west side of the waterlock. I'm just moving out so the, the music stops. Uh, I kind of wish you talked to the girl in the glacier too, but no worries, understandable. Yes, uh, I mean, I'm not, I've not finished talking to the guys in the tent in the first place. Um, but yes, we will definitely do that next time because we're in the area and like it, it's definitely easy to get sidetracked on right I'll talk to this person then the person directly next to them and then so on and just go into like a, a track there uh, have a good one definitely enjoyed it well thank you thank you for, uh, for tuning in uh, I appreciate you sticking around and thank you very much for the follow as well so, yeah uh, thanks for watching the stream guys uh, we tend to stream on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. UK time so next time we stream will probably be Monday. We've been kind of alternating between Disco Elysium for just me and Xenoblade 3 when it's my uh, wife as well, Pimsy. Um, so we're playing two games on the go at the moment. And I will also make sure this goes up onto YouTube, which is going to be Rigrob and Pimsy Play. Uh, we put like, uh, you know, half an hour episodes, like a Let's Play on there. And then whatever else makes sense, like clips on TikTok. And Twitter is where we also post for going live. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, oh no, is this this is going on YouTube? It will do eventually. It, none of it's gone up yet, so I've got a massive backlog of stuff to do. But yeah, what I do is I stream them and then I cut them up into like a Let's Play style video and then do it like that. But you know, it works. I like it. It's like a, a digital archive of all my playthrough. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>